Hi everyone, it's Julie with Thoughts That Stick and I'm going to share with you today how to make these decoupaged candles for Halloween. And what I've done is I've got three different sizes as you can see here. So um, you can refer back to my blog as to what they look like all lit up, but they're beautiful. And what I've done is I've just taken glasses, glass cylinders that I've had around the house. These are just... I don't even know they were from candles but anyway look around your house if not you know where to look for glass cylinders and then I went and purchased some really fun um, napkins at a craft store and they're Halloween napkins they are kind of a damask background but you can see they have little spiders in them and so I'm going to use those today so what I've done is I've gone ahead and already cut out the um, napkin to fit around the smallest one and I'll just show you how to do that you're going to need some Mod Podge and a sponge brush and you go ahead and just get some of the Mod Podge on there and get the excess off and you rub it all the way around the glass and there's no reason to hurry because this doesn't dry too fast but you want to make sure and get it well coated and just like that. Set your brush down. Make sure your image is right side up and you just start at one end and wrap it all the way around. And When I get to the end I like to add just a little bit to the outside here to close it off and make sure you line it up really good. I'm just showing you really quick here. And then you go back and grab your Mod Podge and you lightly add it all the way around until you're completed and you'll be able to see as you twirl it around and finish you get that idea and I'm gonna put that down and show you what the finished product look like looks like so this here it is finished once it dries and you can see I've added a little bling which are rhinestones all the way around the candle just adds to the sparkle so um, basically you can go to my website and order this. They're from Stampin' Up, which is who I work for. And you go ahead and remove them right from the sheet. And you pick where you want them. I like the design right by the spider here. So I'm going to put just a few right along there. And you're going to go all the way around the candle. Or, of course, you decorate it the way you want to. Like I said, the finished product, whoops, that's the wet one, the finished product has them all the way around. And then when it's lit up, they just kind of sparkle. So thanks for joining me. And refer back to my blog, uh, Thoughts That Stick. And you can see them all lit up. It looks really pretty. Thanks for joining me.